What's up, Sledheads? Guard here. A couple changes have been made to what is considered a skip in this game. The once perilous pass and leap of faith skips are now, by definition, considered shortcuts and can be used for any of the no skip categories. Uh, link below to what defines a skip if anyone's interested. This video will be covering the skips for all the open mountain tracks. A lot of these skips are simple checkpoint manipulations crossing a specific checkpoint, then crashing or clipping into another checkpoint zone. These points of interest will be marked in red. The majority of the skips are easy to pull off, but like all speedruns, the faster you try to execute something, the more difficult it becomes. So let's get started. I will be using the storm sled for these examples, but you can also use the 800cc if you prefer, but I highly recommend using the storm sled for one, you can unlock the storm sled by using a cheat, so you can get straight into doing runs. Secondly, the storm sled has a faster acceleration and a smaller hitbox, allowing it to clip into walls much easier than the 800cc. Now that we have the storm sled selected, let's load up Pine Valley and get into the tutorial. All right, so the first checkpoint that we must cross is in the midway point of this hill. So we're gonna turn left by leaning. After that, line up facing this wall slightly at an angle. At this point, drive forward holding down to crash. Your sled should slide towards the finish line pole or across. If done correctly, you should spawn in front of the finish line. Once you've heard the lap tone chime, you have just successfully performed the Pine Valley skip. Here are the last two laps for examples. All right, on to the next track. We have Kodiak Canyon, super fast skip coming at you. So around this bend, here's the checkpoint you need to cross over. I'm going to turn to the left. From here, line up facing this area with your sled slightly pointed downhill. We're going to drive forward and you will clip through two checkpoint zones. Once you've heard the lap tone chime, you have successfully performed the Kodiak Canyon skip. Here are three more examples. If you ever overshoot your checkpoint turn, don't panic, just keep your angle and let your sled slide down the hill until you are in line with the jump. On to hard pack. So here is the checkpoint you need to cross. We're going to be turning to the right, head towards the finish line from the left side, and we're going to be heading for the trees to the right of the banner. At this point, to release the throttle. Here we are going to perform a trick right before we land's crash. The trick I use is a one-footed can-can one-hander, which is done by holding R2, then holding left and down at the same time. This is the area in which you want to crash in. If done correctly, you should spawn in front of the finish line. Once you've heard the lap tone, you've successfully performed the hard pack skip. Here are two more examples using the left checkpoint turnaround. It's a little harder to set up, but it's faster than turning to the right. All right, on to Eagle Ridge, where we will be defying the laws of physics with the wall rating glitch. Snake our way over here to land on this platform off to the left. Once here, we're going to turn to the left to face this part of the wall at a 45 degree angle. Now drive forward while holding up to clip in between these two walls. Once you've noticed your sled beginning to level out, slightly turn to the left while still holding forward. Once your sled begins to pick up speed, hold up for the remainder of the wall ride. Then drive through the sky to carefully drop back down to the track below. And there you go, you've done the Eagle Ridge skip. Here's the pro setup for the wall ride. Take off from the center of the jump, heading towards where the two walls meet. Right when you land, press up to clip in. Then again, when you begin to level out, turn to the left and hold up for the rest. And here is one more without pausing. All 
onto Glacial Grind, a track that uses both the wall running glitch and checkpoint manipulation. Here's the checkpoint you must cross over. Do a quick 180. From here, turn right to face this section of the wall. Then drive forward while holding up to clip into the wall. Once at the height of the glacier, hold down to crash your sled. Anywhere above the line will work. You should spawn right on top of the finish line, not just reverse to hit the checkpoint in front of the finish line. Once you can see a sliver of the white on the banner above, you can drive forward again. If you hear the beep, you can now repeat. Here's an example of crashing too early. You will spawn in front of the finish line and will not be able to back up into the checkpoint. On to Goat's Bluff. Getting a perfect start here is very important, which is done by releasing the throttle right when the bottom of the one passes your character's shoulders. If timed right, you should get a huge boost off the start. Now we just drive a mile to reach the checkpoint. I find myself Worrying more about these tiny jumps than the actual skip. All right, here we are. Stay to the right side of this jump. Here's the checkpoint we need to cross. Do a quick 180, watch out for the racers. Here is where we will be jumping off from. You should be slightly off to the right of this tree at this point. Once you land, drive off the track around here. If done correctly, you should spawn in front of the finish line. And if you hear the beep, you can now repeat. Here's another good example. And this is what happens when you jump too far to the left. You will spawn back at the previous checkpoint. And this is what happens when you jump too far to the right. You'll bounce off invisible barrier, which looks Harmless at first, but after crashing, you may spawn underneath a bridge, resulting in a huge time loss. So it's better to be more to the left than the right. On to Perilous Pass, where things get interesting. Shout out to my boy Jaunty for finding this one. From here, start reversing towards this corner. The first step is to back up against this part of the wall at this angle. At this point, slide towards the castle until you reach this point. From here, hold up while still reversing to clip into the wall. Right when your sled shadow vanishes upwards, hold down to stabilize your sled. At this point, veer to the right while still holding down. Once you are heading towards the center of the tower, you can hold up to crash your sled. If done correctly, you should spawn at the top of the hill right in front of the finish line. Congrats, you've done the side castle skip. Now if your camera angle gets stuck in an awkward position, just simply drive forward until it switches and then back up again. Now if the side castle skip is too much at first, there is a log skip further down the course. Super easy to do, place your sled underneath the log and then crash up against this wall. You should spawn on the other side of the track. I can't remember the last time this didn't work for me. There's also the loop skip, which is with the conjunction of the perilous pass shortcut is, is the fastest route if you're not going for the side castle skip. So we're just gonna crash up against this wall right beside this dead tree and we'll spawn on the other side. Now for the final track of the open mountain, Lost Peak. Same as Goat's Bluff, a perfect start can be used here to save time. Right before you go under the bridge, we are going to jump off the track towards this area. At this point, perform a trick so you crash immediately when you make contact with the wall. You should then spawn on the track above. From here, do a quick 180, then jump off the side of the bridge at this area to land on the track below. Head towards this patch of snow. And around this area, release your throttle. This is the area we need to bounce off to crash below. 
If done correctly, you should spawn in front of the finish line. Once you hear the lap tone, congrats, you've done the Lost Peak skip. Here's another good example. Here's what happens when you do not spawn in front of the finish line. You'll spawn in front of the starting line. As you can tell, I crashed way too low. Don't worry, there's a backup. From here, drive forward a little bit, then turn to the right to face slightly off to the left of the mountain, full throttle off the track. If you can't see your sled, then it should work. So that is it guys. That is all the skips for all of the open mountain tracks so far in Sledstorm. Hope this helps people out. If you're still having trouble with any of these or just have a Sledstorm question in general, feel free to join the Sledstorm Discord and ask away. Again, thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the slopes. Peace.